First of all, welcome to you, Sensei. It's a pleasure to be uh, with you, Amin. Thank yeah. you so much, Sensei. And uh, given the current conditions, you are basically at home in, in, in Boulder. Uh, First of all, yes, as I said, it's wonderful to have you and thank you so much for your time. And uh, what, what is it like in, now in Boulder? Uh, Boulder also has uh, some people affected by the coronavirus and, and uh, the city has uh, sort of a lockdown. Uh, we can go and uh, do some shopping for essential food, uh, medication and uh, things like that uh, but uh, very fortunately we are surrounded by nature and uh, we can visit many trails and we can maintain distance with people so um, i i am sorry for those people that are in the uh, old people's home uh, geriatrics that some of them have been affected but the, the majority of the people here I think enjoy the outdoors so uh, I do the same with uh, my dog and walk uh, almost every day unless it's raining. That's uh, actually one of, of the first things that I, 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 uh, I had in mind because now you have to stay home so how she doesn't uh, have this chance to be with you all the year because uh, you're basically <laughs> traveling all the year. So now I imagine he's the happy one right now. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, I think my dog Hachi is very puzzled as to why we don't. My wife also stays at home. Uh, I also stay at home. So he must be happy, but probably he doesn't know why we are here all the time. But <laughs> that's okay. I enjoy it very much. You know that he is very famous because in I I don't remember what, what country you went into, and they give you this uh, small dummy of uh, of Rashi. <laughs> and oh, you have it. All right, that's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> they give it in your Romania or some or I think no. In Hungary. Ah, in Hungary. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's not that's so very far. And uh, how are you? How are your family? Everything I imagine you good. Uh, we are all fine. Uh, uh, my wife and I are uh, very healthy. Uh, we have uh, our boys and their families in New York, which is not yeah. so good. But uh, they're all well. Uh, they are fine. Uh, no, no problems. All Thank right. You. Uh, you're welcome, Sensei. And uh, how how you took this uh, this whole situation in, in in the start? How how you took the news that uh, there is a virus in the whole world and uh, we have to be locked down? Well. This is something that uh, people in previous generations or in some local uh, areas uh, were affected in the past. But this is new to many people around the world that uh, has become such a global scale. And uh, when we started to see that uh, it became a major problem, uh, in my dojo, I suspended classes on March 11th. So uh, we already go uh, very soon or almost uh, two months without uh, training on the mat. Yeah. But uh, we have to uh, devise something that keeps us united. So uh, with uh, members of our dojo, we have a small online training course all right and you started that uh, very soon also because even you, you said that you closed your, uh, your dojo in the 11th of march and i think the lockdown in the united states even even the arrival of the virus it came very late no yes for we started uh, in uh, early april so i okay. think we um, are very happy to say that uh, the, we have maintained uh, uh, distance, uh, physical distance, yeah. but uh, 
uh, we are united. Uh, I use, um, as you know, the Facebook uh, in another way to convey a message that uh, I am fine, uh, that uh, we are connected. Uh, I don't overemphasize the Aikido site, but uh, in, for private friends, but uh, within the dojo, yes, uh, we continue to train. That's very good because uh, in, in, even in Europe, I mean, for me, the case here uh, in France, it's uh, I think in the late February, I saw every dojos are closing and uh, I mean, even people are were afraid because basically in Aikido, we teach, we uh, touch each other um, basically all the time. So that, that was dangerous. And um, since we are talking about that, uh, even the all sports are, they had, their pause since March or maybe late February. And uh, they were did these discussions about the Olympic Games who in the first uh, time they say, no, they are no, uh, they are no uh, going to be postponed or uh, reported or canceled. And uh, the decision came pretty much uh, very late. Uh, what's, what's the view of that from your perspective as a chairman of International Federation? Well, as uh, the Olympics uh, is concerned, uh, you must know that uh, the, the preparations uh, that uh, took place involved uh, a lot of contractual arrangements that people had to, they, they signed contracts to do this service, that service, and uh, they mobilized a lot of people. There were sponsors uh, that expected uh, this and, and so forth. So. We, uh, as uh, IAF, um, uh, were observing the situation of the Olympics. And uh, for us, it was, if the Olympics were to go ahead, uh, we felt that they have more experts on the field analyzing whether it's feasible to conduct uh, our uh, summit event in uh, the end of September. So we were waiting for the Olympic situation, but uh, it came that uh, uh, the Olympics and the Japanese government, they, they came to the conclusion that it wasn't feasible uh, to conduct this year. So immediately uh, we spoke uh, with Aikikai and uh, uh, I, I sent a note uh, uh, to Dojo Cho, uh, notifying that the, we had uh, a directing committee meeting in, in IF. Uh, we concluded that it, it would be best to postpone for one year uh, to Japan. And Dojo Cho uh, answered me in three hours after the memo was sent, saying that uh, Doshu totally agreed with that. So that became a decision point to postpone. Uh, we don't know exactly when uh, will take place and uh, we may do in some different uh, ways uh, as to how to conduct the summit. So as you're saying for now, it's not sure that uh, the Aikido summit is going to take place in 2021? Um, we haven't made the final decision yet. Uh, there are uh, complications because uh, and uh, s some of us uh, will go to Japan in uh, early October uh, to discuss and find out the availability of uh, the site because many international events uh, also had shifted. So it's not only us, uh, the availability of the proper arena, mm -hmm. uh, the proper accommodations uh, that are relatively uh, budget conscious. Uh, we, we are trying to look for something that will allow more people to come. So uh, we need to make sure of that. So the decision will be made uh, probably after uh, October. We will wow. have more than six months uh, to prepare. All the systems, uh, the reservation systems and things like that, uh, the, we already contracted some uh, travel agency and uh, 
computer system, the reservation system is already ready. So once we find the a location and uh, facilities are available, then we will discuss with uh, Aikikai once again to, to find the, if the instructors that will teach at the seminar are available or not. And then we'll, we'll make the final decision. All right, very, very good. And now in Japan, they, they, they keep uh, practicing Aikido or it stopped? Um, the Japanese government uh, issued uh, emergency declaration uh, and uh, they are recommending that uh, gatherings bigger than 10 and things like that are not being hosted. Aikikai complies with that and uh, they were on uh, lockdown uh, since uh, the beginning of April until it was supposed to be May 7th. And uh, for now, uh, they have extended the, the Japanese government emergency declaration is until May 31st. So uh, for the time being, uh, Japan will be basically in lockdown until uh, the end of May. But uh, I, I have to say, and uh, as you mentioned, uh, that Aikido is, uh, has contacts. So once we restart, I think restarting will become psychologically much more complex mm. and as to how to do the training. Those issues, I think, will be in, in necessary that uh, we apply some rules as to hygiene and uh, uh, training methods so we may have to change somewhat yeah because even in now i i keep an eye of the situation uh, here in france for example the french federation didn't uh, didn't uh, took a, a decision about it now especially that even in a normal the situation the this uh, the season normally end up in June. So you think now this the the Aikido season is over? We're going to just take the summer for a break and maybe see that after September. Uh, the the cases in Japan uh, when we talk about uh, Japan, uh, if you see some uh, charts as to the number of people affected by coronavirus in Japan is relatively low. Right. And uh, uh, many people are being discharged uh, uh, out of the f close to 16,000 uh, uh, people that were identified as uh, having coronavirus. Uh, and some of them uh, were hospitalized. Uh, already more than uh, close to 9,000 people have been discharged from, from the hospitals. Mm -hmm. So uh, Japan may take a different uh, stance than other countries. For example, uh, the U.S. is still rising. So I, I think even if I open the uh, the classes. Uh, I think many people psychologically will, will have difficulty coming and training. So uh, we will need to wait a, a little longer than uh, Japan. So it will depend on on which country you are talking about. I think. In in general, you as the the chairman of the AF, you keep an eye, I think, in uh, uh, about all the countries, and maybe you see uh, via Facebook or images uh, the uh, evaluation of of each country. Like for uh, I I think in uh, Romania, I saw some videos of uh, a big training in uh, in park. There was training basically. Uh, with Boken or Joe, and they keep the distance between them, and it was an open space. In Romania, I think uh, it's still uh, severely locked down. Yeah. Uh, and they are still doing uh, online uh, Zoom type uh, classes. Uh, but uh, Netherlands and some 
uh, other countries, uh, Belgium and others, I think the government uh, allowed if you did outdoors and if you were to do weapons like Joe and Pokken and maintaining some distance, uh, it has become possible to do. So this is each country, each government will dictate differently. And uh, we as IF uh, cannot recommend or we can suggest the uh, hygiene aspects and things like that. Uh, but uh, each uh, government will probably make a decision as to when to restart. All right. And now for, for, the, for the general case, people are using online uh, classes, as you mentioned it. Do you think now that, that maybe this is the future of, of Aikido in the, maybe just the next few months? Well, uh, you know, Aikido is a beautiful martial art but uh, as you know very well uh, we don't do kata training yeah. uh, uh, it's very rare if you if you use joe and boken perhaps we can do some kata training but the essence of aikido is the interaction with uh, your partner and the partner can be young can be old can be male can be female uh, can be strong uh, uh, or weak, or it can be advanced or not advanced. Each Aikido movement will be different depending on the, uh, if the person is tall, if the person is short, if the person is agile, uh, and so forth. So Aikido is very difficult to train alone. So uh, we have to uh, mentally visualize uh, if someone is attacking, someone is grabbing, and things like that, and doesn't uh, look as, uh, I think it, it's much more difficult than comparing with karate kata, that you follow a specific uh, punching uh, routine and kicking and this and that. So uh, in Aikido, uh, if we don't have a partner, uh, it reduces very much the, the enjoyment of training. Uh, I know that uh, if you find someone and you execute the technique and the other person flies and so forth, that's a beautiful moment. Uh, in karate and others, uh, you cannot enjoy what Aikido can enjoy. You enjoy the precision of the, the moves, uh, the, the stability of this and that. But in Aikido, it's, a, it's an interna interaction with your partner. So we will uh, have some difficulty, but uh, uh, this uh, gives us a challenge to come up with uh, something that is uh, acceptable and suitable for Aikido? Uh, I think for, for me personally speaking, I, I, if today I can have a friend and go to the park and do some Okimis, that will be great. But uh, I think that uh, most of Aikidokas are really excited to go back to dojos. And uh, maybe if, if tomorrow uh, the government say, okay, we can uh, open the dojo dojos. Maybe people were, were just rush in and and uh, and practice. But for now, it is recommended by you, or or no? Uh, what you are recommending is to go slowly and uh, be patient. And uh... well, it, we are members of the society, and uh, every action that we do. Uh, if it's only within us, uh, that's that's not a problem. But if young young people like you and others uh, that have much more immune uh, uh, resistance uh, to co uh, coronavirus, I think uh, wouldn't be a problem for uh, for them to start uh, going to Aikido. But uh, there are many people that uh, don't have the, the immune power uh, around us and uh, uh, it becomes a little bit sensitive uh, that if you open the gates, this is, I think, what everybody is concerned. 
that it's not the young people that are healthy that uh, are uh, the, the one, it's even if they get sick, uh, the, the resistance is so high that they, they will recover very soon, like uh, any other influenza. Mm -hmm. But the young people be, uh, may become asymptomatic, and uh, they they can spread. So this is the concern we have. I don't know uh, whether I don't think IF is in a position to say go back, I think it's okay to train. Uh, I think we need to let the, the medical uh, specialists in each country decide when it's the right time. I think, yeah, I think it, it's, it's going the good way because even as you mentioned in, in Europe, in most of countries, in Belgium or Netherlands, even here in France, today is the first day of on lockdown and uh, they keep in the, 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 all the, the gyms, the dojos close, I think, until the half of June and maybe yeah, after that we're going to see if it opens or not. But in the meantime, even all the people of, of Aikido universe are using started, or started maybe to use in the online classes and uh, you mentioned that. Are you yourself you're going to start using that also? To give classes on maybe an international seminar, why not? <laughs> well, we are discussing. Uh, we know that, uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier, it's very easy to close down, lock down. Now, the difficult part is how do you open the yeah. door? Uh, so, and uh, Mentally, the, we are all in love with Aikido. We all want to go back to the mat. We all want to train. We like that uh, experience. So we, we need to utilize that flame that uh, we have in our hearts to direct that energy into something that is doable until there is a treatment or vaccine. Because uh, I'm sure that in September, by September, uh, the infection rate will be very low. I'm sure of that. No, but, hopefully. Yes, uh, looking at uh, the global s statistics, except uh, the US that continues to rise, but uh, the globally, I think uh, things are becoming much better in most places. Those that opened uh, now, the China and South Korea are seeing a tick uh, upside. So uh, it, we, we know we have to be careful. But by September, I think uh, there will be very few people infected. So if people maintain some type of uh, physical distance, uh, I think uh, and people are much more protected. Maybe uh, in Aikido, it will become normal to use a face mask uh, for training. Uh, I ordered many face masks from Japan, uh, from Jinbudo that says Aikido here. And uh, I hope to keep that for, for my dojo. And probably many other dojos will start implementing something similar to that. But we need to test the temperature, whether it's going up or down. And if it's really down, I think people would love to go back and start training full time. But they say the second wave is likely to come in the fall. So mm -hmm. Uh, mentality of training Aikido, uh, I think, will change quite a bit for, for the time being until the vaccine is ready. So yeah, this is uh, this actually was my next choice, next question. I think that uh, the situation is going to be slowly back to normal. I mean, as you mentioned, it's just after the, the vaccine, and uh, how do you see the the, the end of the, of this situation in? The Aikido meaning uh, is going to be a, a rough transition, or maybe just things are going to back to normal, just like easy way. I, if uh, 
if we have uh, protection against uh, uh, the virus uh, and vaccines are ready, I think Aikido will go back to normal. Uh, and uh, more than ever before, I think uh, if we are confined uh, in isolation, uh, I think we value much more the nature no? uh, of Aikido. The training becomes much more valuable. Uh, even it's like being in prison for a long time and suddenly the doors open, you want to go back to the things uh, you, you used to like to do. So uh, uh, I'm sure that the Aikido will, will rise again. Uh, there's no problem. Once the vaccine is there, uh, the, the, but we need to be careful in be, uh, between now and that uh, time. Let's hope for that. And by I will, well, I'm going to, 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 to end this with this beautiful mask because I, I saw it and I said, if we have this, I don't know, it's uh, maybe going to keep people away from you. <laughs> maybe we're going okay let's uh, okay let's uh, let's keep the distance between us <laughs> i i didn't uh, uh post that uh, in public but uh, of course you you can show it here but uh i think there are some dark uh, news uh, floating around all the time so they need you need to put some good news uh, the, some humor uh, in these difficult times. So, and uh, many of the uh, Japanese neo, uh, the the guardians of temples in Japan uh, have a very dramatic, fear-looking uh, face, and it is to uh, push the evil spirits away. So I thought, why not? Well, actually, I, f I found it great. Did you make this uh, by yourself or did you buy it? Today? No, no, no. I, I, I bought this. Okay. Uh, I bought it uh, from Amazon in the US. And uh, many people ask me, where can I buy it? Actually, yeah, it's beautiful, I think. And uh, uh, after uh, a few weeks, many people told me that uh, it was out of stock. So. Wow. <laughs> that uh, everybody is having fun in in this lockdown maybe a lot of, a lot of people for sure they uh, they just um, were searching for how to make mask and uh, there's a lot of people who found some funny ways or some even creative ways to to make a lot of beautiful masks did you learn a, a new skill or something in this lockdown no, I asked, uh, I had some Japanese materials and I asked my wife, uh, who, uh, who is also an Aikido practitioner, to make one mask. Uh, and uh, I use that when I go out for, for walks. I cannot go with uh, a <laughs> devil's mask, <laughs> but uh, it would be too, too funny. But um, uh, I don't know how to sew, so uh, I asked my wife. All right, and beside that, did you do something uh, ordinary in this lockdown? Did you do a, a lobby or a, an activity that you hadn't the time to do in the in the normal time? Yes, uh, actually, uh, you will start seeing. Uh, uh, some changes. Uh, uh, we are working hard on the system side in IF, and uh, we will make uh, major changes. And uh, uh, we would like to uh, uh, pro start producing uh, some content together with uh, IKI or ask uh, many of the federations to join. So it it's not only us, but it's the whole Aikido family, uh, IF family together. And uh, uh, well, we are also working with many of the potential new members uh, we are recruiting. And uh, uh, by the next uh, General Assembly, I think we will have many candidate countries. And uh, soon we will be posting a few uh, the, the example from 
countries that we never expected before. So uh, you, you, you will see that uh, Aikido uh, will expand. We will continue to work together with uh, the Northern Africa and Middle East is a crucial part of our strategic direction. And uh, we will work also with uh, Latin America. And, uh, we are starting to uh, contemplate what to do in Asia. And uh, so, and we need to start preparing uh, for, for the next combat game, so which perhaps will be rescheduled once again uh, due to the coronavirus. But uh, we will do that. They were, uh, they were supposed to take place in Russia, no? Or Korea? I think? No, Kazakhstan. Ah, okay, yeah. So, and uh, Korea took place uh, last year, last September, and Morocco was present there, as you know. Yes, of course. <laughs> Your father was there. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah he, he told me that you took very care of him. Uh, it, it's it's a, our pleasure. Uh, Morocco's presence was very well recorded. So even for the, the members, I mean, we keep talking. After that, they say that were it was the most amazing experience of of their lives. I found I I, uh, I talk uh, mainly for my father because uh, he realized his dream in stepping up in the the, the basic and the, the main dojo in the world, and he met uh, the. the uh, the Ushiba uh, family, and uh, it was it was great. Even I can describe it as as he described it to me because uh, I think maybe that's one of the the main dreams in an Aikidoka's life to do. Well, this is uh, something that uh, in IF we we want to do. Well, we want to add more layers of. Uh, working, all of us, uh, working as a family. And um, uh, Aikido has so much to offer and uh, it's a global family and well, we don't have any political agendas. Uh, well, we are only trying to do uh, something good for the, the people that wish to train and uh, continue the path of uh, all sincere. So, uh, I'm happy. Some uh, in the future, if you do another uh, Aiki talk, uh, uh, be happy to update you on uh, future activities that uh, we will start doing. Um, soon, I'll be writing to uh, Dojo Cho on some recommendations that uh, we have. So uh, soon, meaning today. Uh, so I'm in close contact uh, with Aikikai all the time, and uh, we will do uh, many seminars or events if the situation permits. And uh, I'll be very, very, very happy to to have you back again. And. Okay. Uh, and you mentioned that you're working now with uh, with the other uh, uh, EIF members, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the potential of having new countries. Uh, in 2019, what was the, the defining moment for for you in the EIF? Because I saw pictures in a lot, a lot of countries. Uh, you visit Morocco. You were in uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Japan, Korea. What was the defining moment? Well, uh, every year is uh, an exciting time for Aikido as long as we do uh, exchanges. And uh, last year we had uh, the, uh, we participated in, in two major events. One was in Iwama uh, for the Jap Japan Games. Uh, and uh, that uh, went very well. And then uh, we participated in, uh, well, before was the Korean event uh, in Chunju. So 
those were exciting, but uh, I think the ones that uh, uh, we want to do, uh, we want to do something uh, the whole of Northern Africa, for example. Uh, we would like uh, the Morocco to play a key role in that. Uh, uh, Egypt is another member uh, for us, and um, uh, including some of the Middle East Muslim countries, uh, we would like to continue to push uh, because Aikido has a, a very positive thing to offer. Uh, and uh, as you know, there are many people that claim to be in Aikido and we, we don't know uh, uh, very well whether they are the real Aikido people or not. We're, we would like to make sure that uh, we promote the uh, proper Aikido and uh, that we are more united and uh, we have more direct uh, participation of Japan in uh, Northern Africa. Uh, that, that, that is our intent. Uh, it's not only Northern Africa, we, we will do it globally, but as uh, you are originally from Morocco, the, we will and uh, as I have many friends in Morocco now, uh, I have visited your beautiful country in such a way that uh, I came to enjoy and see the difference uh, from the north uh, to the south uh, and the beauty that you can offer. I think it would be exciting to have more events in, in Morocco as well. I'm sure uh, Taha Sensei will, will all agree on that. And uh, I, I so see that uh, that uh, you you shared a lot of uh, of pictures during travel this year. Do you miss it traveling uh, all the time? Uh, yes, uh, uh, to some extent. Uh, I I had uh, already so many trips canceled this year. Uh, I was going to be in Serbia uh, in late uh, March, and then uh, I was going to go originally to Beijing, but uh, that was changed to Lausanne in Switzerland. And then I was going to go to Japan, and then uh, Vichy was uh, the youth event, and uh, yes. June I had, uh, and June, July I had events in. Uh, Switzerland, uh, Malaysia, and uh, 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 Romania, all those have been cancelled. So, uh, of course, they, you start to expect to meet your friends again, or uh, make new friends, and you miss that opportunity, that, because I, I think the, the beauty of Aikido is that uh, we is uh, oftentimes we meet with different backgrounds. Well, I have friends from Macedonia, and, uh, Romania, and, uh, Hungary, uh, many people uh, coming together and we meet again and again. So I miss that. But uh, being at home and being with my wife and Hachi is also a very pleasant uh, thing. Uh, we are safe. Of course, and I, even I, I, I was intending to to go to, uh, I think uh, that was uh, Romania for, for the, the big seminar when you are uh, you're leading it yourself. There is uh, Dorin Sensei and uh, Wilco Sensei as well. And uh, yeah, it, but well, for, uh, have you any news if those events are now going to be postponed or canceled? Um, the, we need to, once uh, the doors open, we need to find ways to uh, add fuel uh, to the Aikido momentum. So if we find that it's safe uh, to do seminars, yes, uh, we will definitely start again. And uh, many that uh, uh, invited me over, uh, I think they just pushed it uh, to 2021. So uh, it's a strange year. Uh, I do a lot of exercise uh, at home uh, and uh, try to stay in good shape. 
uh, so I hope it's okay. Uh, in March, uh, I walked uh, uh, 230 kilometers uh, uh, with Hachi. Uh, so every day, like seven kilometers. And in addition to that, some exercise, but uh, uh, to continue to build the, the foundation. So uh, we will continue to, we need to be in shape. That's that's for sure. I had some other questions for your upcoming plan, uh, plans, but since you want to be again in the show, I think I'm going to keep that for another uh, show. What do you think? Yes, uh, that's, <laughs> that's going to be good. Okay, since uh, I think that we asked so many questions uh, about Aikido and the uh, and this uh, divine moments of our situation, the this uh, the actual situation, but uh, let's talk about your uh, your how you spend your your uh, your lockdown i created this uh, category we're going to do a quarantine playlist i think you already prepared it okay so let's begin what, what was your quarantine song well um, for, for me um i I will post some pictures when I used to do some music, but uh, uh, that will be perhaps in one of the throwback uh, Thursdays. Uh, but I, I'm not listening to music uh, at all. So I, I, I'm more focused on uh, other things, uh, just nature and so forth. Uh, nature is my music. Right now. That's what I was going to say, because if you hear birds, the lake, uh, the water moving, that's uh, maybe even a beautiful soundtrack to that. That's right. And, uh, okay, your quarantine book. Uh, you have it. <laughs> well. The Old Man and the Sea. Okay, what, what is it about? It's... Uh, Hemingway's book about uh, an old fisherman and the struggle uh, when he's fishing. It's a classic uh, of Hemingway. Um, I lived in Cuba. Uh, this was uh, modeled uh, when Hemingway was in Cuba. So uh, I'm trying to go a little bit into the classics and I'm reading a lot about uh, uh, history novels uh, as well so and that is very good okay history novels. yeah most of all most classics mm -hmm. uh, all right with your uh, quarantine movie I just finished yesterday uh, season four in Netflix of the last kingdom that's a great one. Uh, I, yesterday I saw five chapters, I, I must say, and I, I finished uh, seeing the, the whole season. It, it was good? Yes, uh, I think it, it uh, also talks about a little bit about the black pest uh, in, in the old times. So it has a little bit of similarity with today. It's, it was fun. All right, your, uh, your quarantine board game. Board game? No, I, I do. You don't play games? I, I may do Sudoku before going to sleep uh, to train my mind. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, that's very good. Your quarantine drink? <sighs> A little bit of beer, a little bit of red wine, no more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, your quarantine quote. I don't have uh, uh, a quote uh, except that I can say the, the sun will always rise again. And I think that's beautiful. All right, Sensei, uh, I, I will just uh, let you say a word or a message that you want to tell all the Aikidokas in the world, if you want to, before the, the end. Well, Aikido is a beautiful martial art. Aikido helps us cleanse our mind. 
uh, Aikido is not uh, uh, competing against someone else. It's to improve your own mind, your own f uh, physical condition. Uh, you, you try to maintain uh, your backbone straight. So uh, to all the Aikido friends in the world that are, are out of the mat uh, without training opportunities, uh, I only wish uh, them to feel that uh, the time will come that we will gather again and train together and uh, that I have, uh, would like to be uh, one of your agents uh, to make your life much part of a global family. So uh, we all stay together and happy training in Aikido. So uh, please stay safe. Please uh, do something good for the uh, society and uh, don't risk uh, doing anything that uh, will delay the time we can go back to training and uh, wish you all very well. Thank you so much for your time, Sensei. That was uh, lovely to have you and uh, well, hopefully I'll, I'll see you in person very soon. I hope to do so and train together. And train together, most especially. Thank you so much, Sensei. Pleasure. Bye-bye, Amin. <laughs>